Real Country, 1430 AM and 107.3 FM, WRDN. This is the WRDN Morning Farm Report. I'm Brian Winnikins. Joining us this morning is Dan Bauer with the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture. We're going to talk about a dairy survey that the Department of Agriculture is doing this June. And thank you to our newsmaker sponsors, including Alcivia Co-op, Anibis Silo, Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, Compure Financial, Osteoplastics, Synergy Co-op, Wisconsin Farmers Union, Wisconsin Corn Growers Association, and the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board. Well, Dan, thanks for joining us. It's June Dairy Month, I guess appropriate time to do a dairy survey. And this is something that the Department of Ag has done over the years? Yeah, yeah, great question, Brian. Thanks for asking it. You kind of took the words right out of my mouth. Our, our thought was that since June is National Dairy Month, you know, what a wonderful time to try to gather some information about Wisconsin dairy farmers, their, their farming practices, their plans for the future. And I think you hit it right on the head. Um, this survey is done by the Department of Agriculture periodically. Um, the last time it was done was in spring of 2020. It was actually kind of interesting. They had mailed it out. Um, I think it was either right before COVID or, or almost at the time of COVID. And so that was, uh, you know, kind of an interesting milestone uh, at that time. And then previously it had been done in 2010 and also 2007. So, you know, what I would say kind of looking at history, it appears to me, you know, we've done this, you know, every five to 10 years uh, based on industry need and interest. And so you mentioned some of the things that this survey is going to look at or ask farmers about. Again, explain the reasoning behind what you're asking in the survey. Yeah, so the survey is uh, four pages and it folds out and it's actually 34 questions, Brian. And I actually scratched out some notes here because I, I thought you might ask this. And, and really, in my mind, there's kind of five sections. Um, the first being uh, dairy herd demographics. So think herd size your geographic location. Uh, we've got the state broke out into four regional quadrants. Then it moves on to management practices. And some of the questions you'll be asked are like, what percent of the female calves are you keeping to raise, uh, raise as dairy replacements? You know, that's been a very popular topic as some USDA reports are reporting uh, diminishing uh, heifer inventories across the U.S. Um, we're going to ask farmers, you know, what percent of your forages for your dairy herd are home grown? And then it moves into business structure and labor. And kind of in this area, we're going to ask questions like how many employees do you employ? Do you offer those employees benefits? Do you consider yourself a family farm? If you do, how many generations has that farm been in your current family farm's ownership? Then it'll move to future plans. And uh, the thing here, Brian, is we're talking about business investments. So we're going to ask, you know, have you invested in your operation in the last five years? You know, in what area? But then also, do you have future plans to invest in your operation? Think facility improvements, robotics, dairy herd management software, those kind of things. And then we'll finish out the survey asking about individual farm and industry challenges. So this will be the farmer's opportunity to say, hey, these are the top three challenges for my own farm but also for um, that of the whole industry, you know, some examples that they'll be able to consider is labor access, weather, regulation, being able to balance supply and demand. Um, that's kind of the areas, um, in my opinion, you know, that, that kind of jump out to the top for demographics, management, business structure and labor, future plans, and then industry challenges. So how will this information be used? Great, great question. Um, what's going to happen? So um, kind of to coincide with June is Dairy Month, we're asking for all surveys to be returned by June 30th. And um, really interesting, I was kind of looking because I was just curious, um, you know, the last survey in 2020, we had mailed about 7,000 surveys and received 2,800 in return. And so what I did is I actually asked a Microsoft Copilot, that's the generative AI assistant in Microsoft. I'm like, hey, what's a good survey response? Because I, I was just curious. And it had told me, you know, anywhere from five to 30% is considered an excellent response rate. So in 2020, we had a 40% response rate. We actually got 2,800 responses. So I'm hoping we can do something similar this year. Um, we mailed 5,400 surveys this year. So that was about a 20% um, drop compared to 2020. Um, but what this uh, information is going to uh, be, what's going to happen to this information is it'll be summarized and it'll be aggregated. You know, all responses are anonymous. And then ultimately we'll create a report and read out for the whole industry. 
and we will um, post that on our DadCap website. And um, really, at the end of the day, what it um, we are hoping that it can do is that um, this information can be available to industry leaders, decision makers, and it can help develop future educational programming. It can inform potential legislative changes and possibly identify uh, research priorities for private industry and academia. So that's kind of our uh, thought process, I guess, on, on how what we'll do um, with the results. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say on this, and sorry for going on, was um, our tentative plan for timing is we want to launch these results at World Dairy Expo or before. Um, we think that that would be a very timely place to have this information for, for discussion at different uh, sessions. Talking with Dan Bauer, Bauer rather, with uh, the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture. Again, the Department of Agriculture doing a uh, the 2024 Wisconsin Dairy Producers Survey. And uh, Dan, you mentioned, okay, you, you've got the, the written form for the survey. Is there an online component that dairy farmers can use if they haven't even received this in the mail? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, Brian. And it's an option we are super excited about. So in 2020, there was only a print version available. And so we wanted to kind of modernize how we collected the info and give farmers uh, the option to do it online um, because we know that's more efficient for, for many. So we do have an online option this year. And um, how a farmer would um, take advantage of that is in their survey letter, there'll actually be a URL website that they can go to to fill out the survey online. But what's even easier and what I would recommend on the first page of their survey in the top right corner, there's a QR code. And so they could use any mobile device to actually link through that QR code to the survey website and then they could fill it out there. And uh, I'm excited, Brian, last week, um, early in the week, we already had over 30 online responses. I haven't checked yet. So farmers are taking advantage of this option. And um, yeah, we're excited about it because I think it will make summarizing the results more efficient as well. And I think you asked, where can you find the online survey? And, and this is something that I didn't even realize at first. I was thinking, well, let's post it on the internet. Let's put it on social media. But you can't really do that because then just anyone could fill it out, even if they weren't a farmer. So um, the mailing is going to be kind of the trigger, the linchpin to get into the survey. And then once that farmer, you know, those 5,400 producers that receive the mailing, um, they can choose it to do it physically with the paper copy or, or the online avenue. Now, if, if there's a dairy farmer that didn't receive the mail version, can they still participate? And how would they be able to do that? What I'd recommend in that instance is um, I would have them give us a call. So I'm the program supervisor for the Wisconsin Farm Center, and we've been the lead on this project for DadCap. And any farmer that's got a question or believes they didn't receive a survey and they should have, just give us a call. Um, we have an 800 line. That number is 800-942-2474. Again, that number is 800-942-2474. Um, I've got two to three staff monitoring that line um, during business days and business hours. And, and if you got a question or you think you should have received it and didn't get it, just give us a call and um, we'll figure it out. Be interesting to see these results coming up at World Dairy Expo. Dan, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brian. I really appreciate it. Dan Bauer with the Wisconsin Farm Center, part of the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture. This is the WRDN Morning Farm Report.